Welcome back everyone, this is J7Jace bringing you a guide on how to defeat Weegraf in all three encounters in Final Fantasy Tactics. He is one of the harder mandatory story encounters in the game and one of these three fights, arguably the hardest and is responsible for many soft locks for first time players. In this video, I'm going to go over several strategies on how to defeat him as well as some tips. Now I'll start off with the fight at Rio Banes as most people will struggle with this one as it has two faces and it's by far the most difficult one. And I'll go over the other two fights later. Don't worry, it's not going to require level 99, using a Dark Knight, or doing the Gafgarian trick to get Night Swords as you see with these first clips. Let's start off with what Weegraf is capable of as well as his items, abilities, and zodiac sign. He has a full set of diamond equipment and his unique white knight gives him pretty solid stats overall, especially in HP. As a boss, he is also virtually immune to all negative status ailments, and because of safeguard, you can't break or steal his equipment. Weegraf is also a Virgo, so if you're a Capricorn or a Taurus, you can deal 25% extra damage to him. If you're a Sagittarius or Gemini, you will deal 25% less damage. If a male Pisces, you will deal 50% less damage. And if a female, you will deal 50% more damage. Just note that it's a double-edged sword, so he can also deal more damage to you as well. In most cases, he will also use Hollowed Bolt, which has a range of 3 and can do massive damage, especially if you aren't a Pisces with Ramza, as it will do 168 damage to Ramza if he's a Capricorn or Taurus, 140 to any neutral sign. If Sagittarius or Gemini, he will do 112, but if you're a Pisces, Hollowed Bolt will do 70 damage. Lastly, if you're a magic user, the ability also has a chance to silence you. Weegraf can also use Shock Wave, Aura Blast, or physically attack you. And be careful with his counter as he can also hit you hard, and after a successful counter and Hollowed Bolt follow up, this can be game over. For his second phase, in most cases, he will begin to start to cast Cyclops when it's his turn. Sometimes he will cast Titan or Lich, but his Cyclops is the real concern. He is vulnerable to slow and silence though, but if you silence him, he will petrify you or use Befuddle, so I just recommend focusing on him only for a fast kill. And the Archaeo Demons will use Giga Flare and Unholy Darkness, which can do a lot of damage. And when low on HP, they will use Karma, and it will do damage based on their missing HP, so just try to ignore them or completely KO them if you want. Now the most common strategy and exploit is to equip a chameleon robe as Squire Ramza. This will prevent him from using Hollow Bolt or Lightning Stab. Then use a reaction ability like Auto Potion, just make sure it's high or X potions, and stock up on a lot of these. Or just use Mana Shield combined with Mana Font so you can virtually never die. Then from here, just keep using Tailwind on yourself so you can get several turns in. I recommend at least 4 to 5 for Weegraf's 1, then use Focus until Ramza is hitting for like 400 to hit, as his second form has around 1045 HP. Then try to attack him from behind for 100% accuracy if you aren't using Concentration. If you can get him to follow you on this path, you can be in a position where you can attack him and he can't counter you, so there is that. If you want to play extra safe just because, your max speed can be 50 and PA can be 99, so if you really want to, you can increase it that high. Because Weegraf's evasion is pretty high, with his shield, running concentration as your support ability isn't a bad option, or even defense boost. You can also use the reaction ability Critical Recover HP if you can get your HP to a point where it will be critical after a hollowed bolt. It can also be super handy or you use martial arts and chakra to slowly outheal the damage you will take. Some other popular setups which I've mentioned in the past is to use dual wield on a monk or a ninja with brawler and just run up to him to KO him. As both of these jobs are fast and can hit hard. Just make sure you have a high bravery stat as well as some PA as the unarmed damage formula is heavily reliant on it. If you want to use magic, a black mage with holy arithmetics is best and can do fantastic damage as well. Just note that holy can't do damage to the Archaeo demons in the second phase, but the objective is to defeat Belius, so no worries. Just make sure to have Ramza and your other party members equipped with chameleon rope so holy won't harm you. And for those of you that love grinding and playing it non-stop, Dark Knight is also a very solid choice. I just recommend getting a defender by getting it from rare poaches from Treants and having high bravery and attack boost. 
but Ice Bran with Jaffa Mala is also another awesome setup. I also showed some of my builds I used in these fights in the video that helped me get through it, so if you're struggling, copy it and give it a go. Now, what if you don't have the Chameleon Robe in your file? You can actually obtain one in this fight with Treasure Hunter, although with higher bravery, the odds won't be in your favor. But if you are daring, you can put on Treasure Hunter and try to get the Chameleon Robe right here. Just make sure to have re-equip or equip change, an accessory or an item that will increase your speed or movement so you can run to it before Weegraf takes a turn. And hopefully, you also have Tailwind or Focus with Ramza, or enough JP to learn all the abilities I mentioned. These are the strategies that are the most popular and ones I like using, but if you'd like to use any others like Gravaga and so on, let me know in the comments. His second phase will also be hard as Cyclops can do a lot of damage to wipe out your whole party, but with the strategies and builds above, you will have no issues. Just focus directly on Belius and you are good to go. Now if you made it this far, I'll also cover the other two Weegraf battles beginning with chapter 1. For this first encounter, he is accompanied by Boko, two female monks, and a female knight. The monks can hit hard depending on bravery and zodiac signs, but they shouldn't be too much trouble. The objective is to get Weegraf to 20% or below and you're home free. More often than not, he will use North Wayne's Strike, which has a chance to KO your units. Because of this, I recommend having items as your secondary ability and Phoenix Downs. If you group up next to each other, this will entice him to use Judgment Blade, which can inflict stop on your units if you're not careful, and sometimes he will use Cleansing Strike, but I found this to be more rare. And if you attack him outright with a regular physical attack, his counter can hit hard too. If you have any Capricorns and Taurus, they will be great at dealing damage to him or female Pisces. Just note that he will also deal a lot of damage to you, so be careful. If you want an easy time, mix it up with male knights with mithril sword, male monks with higher bravery, and females with higher faith. Concentration or attack boost on your physical attack characters can further help you, and elemental rods for your mages can make quick work of the enemies and weak graph. Focus whoever is low on HP or closest to you, and the match should be easy. You can also change Delita into a knight and give him some shop items to make this battle a bit easier too. With this strategy and setup, this fight shouldn't be that difficult at all. In the second fight versus Weed Wrap at Orban Monastery, it can be more difficult as you can also get soft locked here as well if you aren't careful. This time around too, Weed Wrap needs to be KO'd completely, so the other enemies can give you a hard time. An easy exploit here is to equip Chameleon Robes on all your party members and this will stop him from using Holy Sword abilities. If you don't have this item, just spread your units a bit further out so Judgment Blade can't hit multiple party members and be very careful when going up to him to attack him as he has double hand with Diamond Sword. It can do a lot of damage. I recommend attacking him with ranged attacks with stronger magic spells like Holy, Tier 3 Black Magic spells, Flare, Jump, or Holy Sword from Agrius. However, dual wield monks and ninjas can also be very good in taking him down. Just make sure you have higher bravery and a reaction ability like Mana Shield to nullify damage or auto potion to heal back up. Some other tactics are to use slow on him and to try to break his weapon, but I just found going for all out damage is best for this fight. And if you really want to get rid of all enemies for fun, equip Chameleon Robe, Shida Hadori, and have very low faith. You'll be virtually untouchable against all enemy attacks here. This is how I like to defeat Weedgraf in my encounters versus him. These are among the hardest fights in the game, but just like anything difficult in life, with enough practice, dedication, planning, and research, anything can be done. I hope this helps you out in defeating Weedgraf and all three encounters with him. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more FFT videos. Take care.